the United States of America, leader of the free world order, the mighty superpower which cannot be defeated and the custodian of all democratic ethos is today facing a crisis. It is a crisis of its own making, a crisis whose genesis dates back to the day when Joe Biden was elected president. The US has braved one Biden-induced crisis after another in the past one year, but today, America stays at a crisis like no other. The United States has no ambassadors around the world. Its embassies are leaderless. And where there are ambassadors, they are all Biden stooges who bought their ambassadorships. Corruption is speaking. The Biden administration is the most corrupt to have ever assumed office. The question is, what will Americans do about it? Hi and welcome. You are watching TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am Siddharth, your host. In this video, I will talk about how sleepy Joe Biden is installing his stooges as ambassadors to countries all across the world. Let's go, Brandon. We know it for a fact and we don't even live in the United States. Our viewers from the United States are living the nightmare, so to say. You know it best, folks. Hats off to you for putting up with your president. We know for a fact that we will not be able to tolerate the man. How do you accept the rule of a man who, during his campaign, promised to end institutionalized corruption but who is now, as president, facilitating the worst form of corruption himself? US President Joe Biden is tapping wealthy campaign donors, including many with no prior diplomatic experience, as US ambassadors. According to Foreign Policy, in recent months, Biden has named deep-pocketed donors, wealthy billionaire supporters, and election campaign funding bundlers for ambassador posts to countries such as Greece, Kenya, Argentina, Belgium, Slovenia, Malta, and Canada. Considering the radical left turn which the Democratic Party has taken, you would think that the Biden administration will desist from associating with the rich, right? Well, we have news for you. Those who contributed to Biden's presidential campaign with fact checks are now getting appointed as ambassadors of the United States to countries around the world. This, despite the Biden administration promising to restore the historic balance of appointing career diplomats to roughly 70%, of ambassador posts, with 30% going to political appointees. Interestingly, the Democrats had mounted an aggressive attack against Donald Trump for allegedly appointing his loyalists as ambassadors around the world. Under Biden, though, things have taken a turn for the worse as institutionalized corruption gets normalized. Constant Milstein is Biden's pick for the ambassador to Malta. Milstein, who is a New York real estate titan, gave $725,000 to the fundraising committee that ended up sponsoring Joe Biden's presidential campaign. Margaret Whitman is the former CEO of Hewlett Packard or HP and eBay. Guess how much she donated to Biden's campaign? $500,000. She has now been rewarded as the US ambassador to Kenya. There's another name on the list. Have you heard of George Sunis? Yes, the same Sunis who donated to the Obama campaign back in the day and was picked by the former president as ambassador to Norway. But this proved to be an embarrassment for the Obama administration like no other. US lawmakers held a hearing to assess him and Sunis was exposed. He had never been to Norway. Norway has a king and a prime minister, but Sunis told US lawmakers that the country had a president which was in charge of all affairs. Sunis had to withdraw his nomination and the position of Norway's ambassador remained vacant for almost two years. Today, George Sunis, who is an American hotel magnate, has been appointed as ambassador to Greece by Joe Biden. He gave over $500,000 to Biden's campaign. Joe Biden is appointing ambassadors who have no experience in diplomacy and foreign affairs. As such, he is entrusting US foreign policy in the hands of a few novices who have no clue what they are supposed to do and how they are to further the USA's interests. Don't you think this is the perfect recipe for a disaster? Joe Biden is appointing people with no understanding of international affairs. These individuals will mismanage American embassies, further their business interests in the country they are being sent to, will undercut bilateral ties owing to their ineptitude, all while making a grand fool of themselves. And Joe Biden is to be blamed for all that goes wrong for America around the world here on. In fact, with Biden failing to play the leadership role, the US ambassadors in key Indo-Pacific states have gone missing. The Biden administration is simply not able to get most of his diplomatic nominations, including ambassador appointments, cleared unanimously. The slow and cumbersome procedure has thus left many Indo-Pacific states without a US ambassador. The Indo-Pacific is the most important part of the world today. However, 
the US presently does not have a functioning ambassador in any of the other Quad nations, that is, India, Japan, or Australia. At the same time, the US does not have a serving ambassador in Southeast Asian nations of the Philippines, Vietnam, Brunei, and Thailand, despite their importance in the democratic world's campaign against China. There is no American ambassador in South Korea either. Perhaps Biden is still selling ambassadorships for these countries, which is why the process is still getting delayed. Americans must realize that Joe Biden is a threat to their country. There is no greater national security threat to the United States than Joe Biden as its president.